Serena. Shorty was dancing on the toes of the ballerina. Popping so hard, jerking that spine. It was crazy. She had that bitchy soul on my mind. Like, I like the way she do it. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Daddy Jones, City Boy Affiliates. And uh, today, it's kind of like a continuation of my Pro Tools Chop Shop video. I'm going to show you how to save those. Um, chops that you make in Pro Tools and export them to a, a separate folder where you can just go back and um, access the files whenever and you don't even have, have to have Pro Tools open so you can take those files and um, do whatever you want with them so uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now show you this video real quick it's going to be short and sweet and here it goes alright so here we go here's the drum loop I'll play it for you real quick So that's the drum loop, all right? So now we're going to go to Beat Detective. Go to Region region Separation. Go to Capture Selection. Go to Analyze It. And we're going to pull up our, um, our marks. All right. So we're going to separate them. So, got all these different loops right here, or slices of audio. We're going to put all that into one folder. Alright, so how you going to do that is, select, well you ain't got to select them all there, you select them all right here. As you can see, as I hit over on this side right here, to the right. You see I'm going back and forth between the uh, slices, right? So you pick your first slice, hold shift, go all the way down to the first one. And you're selecting all of them, even though it's not showing it over here in the edit window. As you can see right here, they're all highlighted right here. And you can see what's not highlighted, which is the original loop. All right, so with these, all these slices, what you want to do, you want to right click, you want to tell Pro Tools. Let me zoom in for you. All right, and now you pull up your your menu after you right click on it, and you see Export Regions as Files. So you want to click that. All right, so now this window comes up it says Export Selected. All right, so you got you want it as Waves. You want them to be Mono, 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz. You want the conversion quality to be the slowest because it's the best, and you choose your destination directory right here so this is going to send all the files to a specific folder so go ahead and find that folder I'm going to go ahead and put it on uh, I'm going to put it on my desktop alright you're going to name that folder whatever you want to name it I'm going to name it chops alright and then you go go ahead and open that folder up and as you can see right here, let's tell Pro Tools go ahead and use that folder right there. And you move up right here, you see that's where the destination is. And now it's going to auto name all of them if you have this selected. Just go ahead and keep that selected. And you go ahead and go to export. And you see Pro Tools is exporting it. All right, now I'm on my desktop. It goes the folder right here, chops, all those audio loops that I cut up, right here, right here in this folder. So it looks like it's about about 20 of them, but you can do what you will with these. Like, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just play this one. Of course, you gotta play it in Windows Media Player or something. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. It should be just a kick. Alright, so it's just a kick. And so you can do whatever you want with these files now. You know, uh, keep them, throw them in your sampler or something like that. If you got reason, you know, pull them up and reason with the redrum. Or you can uh, go ahead and throw them in the NPC or whatever. So that's how you do it. Uh, when you chop up a beat in Pro Tools with the Beat Detective, save it to a new folder. 
export regions as files and uh, you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial from Daddy Jones, City Boy Affiliates. We got more coming so stay posted.